When the Israelites finally left Egypt, the Lord went ahead of them. He guided them during the day with a pillar of cloud. and a pillar of fire at night, providing light to allow the Israelites to travel by day or by night. Pharaoh and his army gave chase, seeking to bring the Israelites back as slaves. The people of Israel panicked. When they saw the approaching Egyptian army, the pillar of cloud, which has been leading the people, moved from the front to the back of the camp. It settled between the Egyptian and Israelite camps. As darkness fell, the cloud turned to fire, lighting up the night. The Egyptian army did not come near to the Israelites. As you know, the whole Egyptian army drowned. When they tried to follow the Israelites into the Red Sea, Exactly two months after the Israelites left Egypt, they arrived at the foot of Mount Sinai. At Sinai, God gave the Ten Commandments to the people. God also gave Moses instructions on how to build a special house for him. This house of God was called the Tabernacle. Each person in the camp gave offerings towards making the Tabernacle. Some gave gold, some gave silver, and some gave their abilities to make furniture and curtains. When the tabernacle was completed, the cloud covered it, and the brightness of God filled the tabernacle. The cloud hovered over the tabernacle during the day, and at night fire glowed inside the cloud so the whole family of Israel could see it. Now whenever the cloud lifted from the tabernacle, the people of Israel would pack up and set out on their journey. The people of God followed the cloud throughout all their journeys, and God was always leading them.